Ah. High school boy football look this season. People them ready, you know. All right then, big up, man in cup. Only for your shield, you make me link up. We watch the champions cup, Ben Francis. Walk a cup with team, I win the championship this season. Yo, it's a so we have more football and power you for you now on the sports max zone this monday edition at last season's uh Last season's beaten finalist, Glenmuir High, defeated Garvin Maceo 2-0 at home at the weekend to maintain their perfect start to Jamaica's Inter-Secondary School Sports Association Issa Water Da Costa Cup. The win, which was Glenmuir's third consecutive victory of the season, kept them a top zone one on maximum nine points at zone I, two ahead of second place, Foga on seven. Let's recap Saturday's proceedings now with our highlights package brought to you by Digicel. I was to take a look at the full-time highlights. Glenn Muir with the opportunity there at the back post. Trying to convert. That looked to have been Cummings reaching for it. And then that effort sent across the face of goal by deflection. This was a lovely through ball, you know. Really was from White. And Bins. Could have done better with that one, Ricardo Bins. It was all Glenn Muir. Bins, though, made up for the earlier miss and scored a wonderful goal. Lovely first take. And then the header across the line. Getting his third goal of the campaign, Ricardo Bins. And he enjoyed that one. Cohen did some good work, almost set it on a, a platter for his striker, Aurel Miller. Miller would eventually get on the score sheet with a fabulous finish. Lovely stuff from Glenn Muir's number 17, getting his seventh of the campaign right into the far triangle. And Glenmuir were well on their way. This effort from distance, Malik Robinson showcasing his range, didn't miss by much. Again, he was on set piece duty. Mundle couldn't quite reach that one in time for the follow up, and that was that for this game. Yeah, pretty efficient, that Glenn Muir performance. And following the victory, head coach of the team, Andrew Peart, outlined how his team adapted throughout the contest. Uh, the key thing for us today was not to get the game stretched. So it's about connecting the passes and moving the team gradually up the field. And I thought we did that well first half. Second half started a little bit where they got the ascendancy in playing the direct balls. And then our team got, became stretched. So we quickly tried to control that and then move the game forward from there. Uh, losing coach Lester Hibbert revealed where his team, he thought, went wrong. Yeah, Glenmore was doing a lot of movements within the first half. But when we started out the game, we were keeping them behind the ball and they were passing the ball side to side. But at the end of the day, we just lose the discipline and we can't see the two goals. And that, that was what was cast us in the game today. Yeah, so uh, post-match comments there by the two coaches. Pierre, pretty happy with the Glenmore performance. Uh, Kemp still beat Veer by two goals to nil in uh, another game on on Saturday. Yeah. So, um, good goals there. Glenn, you're looking pretty, pretty solid. And they've won all three of their first um, set of matches, so yeah. they'll be very happy. And they're not the only team that have picked up all three matches, all the points so far. Um, Homewood, uh, Port Antonio, and um, I think another school lands has... Yeah. Well, Clarendon, I think, are undefeated as well from right. their earlier games. Yeah, so they're really, really good, uh, hoping that they can keep it up, because that would be good if these teams can what if they all end up unbeaten? Mm. Goal difference. Wow. Well, well, unbeaten doesn't always mean all wins. Yeah. Unbeaten just means you haven't lost, but most wins first. It'd be a good look, though. Yeah, it would right. be. Um, good competitive early rounds in the Da Costa Cup. We go to break. When we come back, we check out what's happening in TNT, the SSFL, on in earnest as well.
ice up on the field. I'm going to score from far and them love with peaceful and the youths now. Yo, it's a schoolboy football, no local. The youths are moving to international big league. And I still people hard, but member which party start. East 